All right, like I said, there's a couple ways to do this. If you try to do this in the fall, the flower stems are hard to get out. If you do this this time of year, look at that, by hand, less than a few seconds to clean that up. Now you can go through and clean these all up. Grab a few hosta. And it's warm, but you can see nothing's pushing through the ground. I can do this today because it's, right now it's 50 degrees at like 8.30 in the morning in February, unheard of. But see, you can clean this up, pull these out of here. And it takes a fraction of the time than it would take normally. Let me just leave these here. I'll come around with a pitchfork and uh, one of my flexi bags, which we'll talk about later on. Since I'm in mulch, I'm not too worried about knee pads, um, but it's time to keep getting dirty. <laughs> Getting dirty. Probably just ran out of time lapse before this. See that I've got all the host in this planting bed, this section cleaned up. This includes some Halcyon, some Golden Tierra, some Emperor Wu. They're all cleaned up here. Put the uh, flying butterflies back on their stand. They fly, fly off when there's a big storm. But next thing I'm going to do is I've got, I use these collapsible. I call them flexies. Got about six or seven of these. They collapse down to nothing, to about two inches in width, so they're easy storage. But uh, I'll just bend over and pick up all these piles that I have here. And then I'll put them in the uh, back here and take them down to my compost pile. And uh, then we'll have this planting bed cleaned up. I still gotta do the praying hands over there and uh, some daylilies out in the uh, uh, pink flamingo garden over there, and just a few daylilies in here, and then a bunch of daylilies in back. So I better keep going. All right, the great thing about using these flexies, like I said, is I'm six foot four. Let's put it down there between my legs, throw it inside. It gets 99% of the plant material I can put in here and I'll go through here and rake one more time. But it's just easier than trying to pick it up and transport it to the wagon. And I'll go through here with my steel vacuum that attaches, that converts my blower to a vacuum. And I'll clean up anything that I haven't picked up now. Along with the astilbe that's over here, I can go through and that steel vacuum is great. And remember when you're doing this, when I'm down on my hands and my knees, I always have another hand down so I have three points of contact with the ground. Because if you're down here with three points of contact, then you're never straining your back. Of course, if you have back issues, you may not be able to do this. Check with your doctor. There's my health disclaimer. But I had successful back surgery in 2000. That put me in bed for 30 days, could not move. Finally, Dr. Presper, who I call Dr. Prosper, said, you're too young. At the time I was uh, probably 20, let's see, I was uh, 45. He said, you're much too young to have back problems. Did a laminectomy. Woke up the next day, have not had a pain in the last 24 years. But I work smart. So make sure that you work smart. Always have three points of contact with the ground when you're bending over. And if you're working, if you insist on bending over, maybe you can't get down on your knees. Spread your legs out so you can get a wide base. Put an elbow on a knee like this, and then bend over and uh, pull the plants like that. 
like I said, I've been doing this business for a long time. I've always found the easiest way to do stuff. And once you've experienced excruciating back pain, chainsaw running up and down your legs, you'll do anything to not have that pain again. So it doesn't look like any of you that are watching this are going to come help me. So I guess I've got to clean the rest of this up by myself. That looks like about enough cleaning up in this section of the planting bed for now. Got all the hostas cleaned up. We've got to clean up the praying hands hosta over here. We got some ticked off birds that have been flipping me the feather the last two days because I forgot to clean up or fill up their bird feeders. Got one out there in the island planter. We got one hanging up here and their suet, <laughs> suet is empty. So they're not happy with me. I've got to take care of that. And uh, this first day of spring, this is the second year uh, of doing this by myself. If you've been to Getting Dirty with Glenn.com or watched some other videos, you know that my wife of 34 years passed away in January of 2023 after a two year battle with uh, stage four cancer. And for 34 years, we designed, built, maintained large residential and estate gardens. And to not have her out here with me side by side is tough the first year of the first day of spring. So with that being said, remember to lead with love and kindness and I will see you out in the garden.